Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Algorithm and implementation, selection sort and string. So in this session, we are going to present to you how to implement selection sort algorithm using string in Java. Before we start with the selection sort in string, let's first learn what is actually selection sort. Selection sort algorithm is based on the idea of finding the minimum or maximum element in an unsorted array and then put it in its correct position in a sorted array. So as you can see in this picture, there is an example. We have an array of unsorted elements, 19, 5, 7, 12, and the pointer is the selection pointer. Now, 19 is compared to the next element. The first element is selected, which is going to be any number. And next, compared to the next element, which is 5, since it is 19 is bigger than 5, so it has to switch. Now, next iteration, the 19 is going to compare to the next element, that is 7, which is again bigger than uh, 7, so it has to switch. Now, similarly, it goes to the next element in the next iteration, 19 is compared to 12, 12 is lesser than 19, so it has to switch. Now, in this way, the 19 number is correct position. This is how the selection sort work. Now, sorting an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element, considering as a by default as an ascending order from unsorted part and putting it at the beginning, the algorithm is called selection sort. Now, this selection sort is maintained in two subarrays. First subarray, which is already sorted, and remaining subarrays, which is unsorted. So in this case, in every kind of iteration or repetition of selection sort, the minimum element from the unsorted array is picked and moved to the sorted subarray. In terms of the complexity of the sort, selection sort algorithm, worst case, it will be n to the power 2. Average complexity is again the n power 2. Best case, it will be n power 2 and the space complexity is 1. Method is selection, stability, no, and class is comparison sort. So now what does this mean? When it comes to the complexity, we know the number of occurrences of comparison has to be happen in an unsorted array is what the complexity. So in case of selection, since we are selecting an element and comparing to the next element, it's simple and uh, that's the reason it is worst in worst case and best in the best case. Both are same because it's actually simply picking an element and comparing and if it is switch, if it is needed to switch or swap the element, it will swap. So comparison has to happen anyways. So this is why if the larger number of elements in an array is existing, then in that case, the larger number of occurrences will be there. So there is no difference in case of worst application, worst case or the best case, both are seen in this kind of selection sort. Now, when it comes to the implementation of selection sort, you can see here, we have an unsorted array, 5, 2, 4, 6, 1, 3. It is selecting one element and comparison is happening. And this is how this is working. So algorithm says get a list of unsorted numbers, set a marker for the unsorted section at the front of the list, repeat steps 4 to 6 until one number remains in the unsorted section, compare all sorted numbers in order to select the smallest one and swap this number with the first number if in case it is bigger than that and put it in the unsorted section. Now let's take a look at the flow chart. You see we have to start from the start point. In here we are going to have one uh, variable L or a length which is going to be 0 to n minus 2 because we have to split the array into two. Now First, we need to get the minimum value. It is the splitting of the array is just for finding the minimum and the maximum value. So I minimum, it is equals to uh, I plus 1 to N minus 1. And in case of uh, a array, the half of the array compared to the next half of array, which is not sorted, the splitting of array is basically for the sorting and unsorted. You can see here, it is comparison comparing and then it is sorting and split it into two. Now, if uh, AJ is 
less than a i min then it will again go and compare so to make it in a sorted array split it into two it will work and split into two and if it is needed to switch it will switch else it the pointer will keep moving the minimum value so this is how the flow chart of this is how the flow chart of the selection sort will work now let's take a look at the implementation so we have seen we have to have a array and this array is assigned with the variable n to get the length of the array now it, this implementation is only for the integer we'll see for the string in later first let's see how the implementation of selection can be done so in case first we need the array of integers now we have to scan the array with the i variable from 0 to n minus 1 where n is the length of the array and since the indexing of an array starts with zeros and goes to the n minus 1 now once this uh, condition is true this will iterate it and we have the minimum element is i and uh, which is the first variable which is assuming as a minimum and then we can compare and make it and move it and swap uh, switch or swap the element in case if it is greater or lesser based on that algorithm requirement now once uh, this iteration is done and uh, this array is ready to sort and you can print the array now let's take a look about string in java string is a class in java lang package which is by default imported package and uh, string is basically an object that represents sequence of character values so we have the sequences you can present it like this these are the characters and we are collecting all the characters and presenting in an array of characters that works as java string so you can define the string many ways one of them is s equals to new string like this or uh, creating an object and passing in uh, argument in a constructor or else you can simply give the variable as a string and define in a double quote java string class provides a lot of methods to perform operation on strings such as compare concat equals split length replace compare to intern substring and many more since string is itself a big topic to discuss we can have a separate session we are we are going to have a separate session on string handling in java soon now for now we have to selection sort and string so we need to understand how the string function in java in a short form so we have a java heap memory and it contains when we when we have a string variable ipad it goes through the java heap and assign it in this form you can see and string pool is basically where the all kind of string functions and perform in directly in a memory location now let's take a look at the selection string sorted implementation so you can see here we have a uh, first we need to take the input from the user so we need to use scanner and uh, getting the values from the string uh, we need to have uh, arrays of string in this case since a string is an object and we can make it and then variable out of it and then we can collect it in an array so that we can simple have number of strings at once and uh, order uh, sorted in an al al alphabetically in a form now to compare it and see the first letter of a string or a word and uh, compare it and then sort it accordingly like this since we have compared to method available in string handling in java that will make your uh, string organized and compared and switch into if it is not uh, lesser or it is not in a structured form now this will help you to make your uh, string in a sorted form so you can see an example here uh, this is what the output is going to be after implementation we show you more in the demonstration that will be more clear so what we are doing we are just getting the values from the user and then sorting it and displaying it now let's take a look at the implementation so this is my eclipse ide and i am going to make a class first and in a package i'm just having a 
exercise or any any name exercise string exercise string selection exercise and I need a main class so this is my class and first thing first we need to have a string so string and uh, since we need the temporary swing or we need to have scanner to get the values from the user you can use a string in and new scanner system dot in so this will help you to get the scanner value the error is because you have not imported the util package now once this is done we can ask user to enter the number of string you want to enter so enter the limit enter limit of your string array now once this is done you can get the value int limit equals in dot next int count of strings you are going to enter user is going to enter now next we need to have the string array so we need to create a variable of array and since string is going to have uh, your uh, limit this will be the limit of the string array now once this is done next so enter the strings one by one now for that I uh, just need the temp so that we can switch the string when it is uh, needed to switch or swap so for int i equals to zero and i goes to the count because that is the limit of uh, sorry count means limit of our array string array and i plus plus and here we go and string i is needed to scan so we are getting the values from the user so for that we need to just have this now in this case we need to read it from the line so we'll have to have next line method so termination is needed here now once this is done what next we need to do is sorting so for sorting I need to have a int i equals 0 again we need the count the limit and read the scan the string array to scan the string array we need to have two variables which is two iteration is going to perform where uh, because the pointer is moving from next a uh, next point a uh, next uh, element in an array so we need to have two iteration and two variables is going to compare so string i is going to compare your string j so there are two elements now which is comparing your so if it is true you can temp you can swap it with the temp array and string i string i assigned to string j and string j assigned to temp right so this is how we swap now swapping is done once the swapping is done next we need to display your sorted array sorted string array right so for that again we need to read the loop your uh, the same loop just to print you know so this is how it is going to be done sys o and uh, your string i since it is sorted now so all you need to just print or slash n whatever enter whatever you want to perform 
Now let's take a look at the execution. So Java application. Java Python operating system computer programming. So you see this is sorted and this is unsorted. So this is a live implementation and demonstration of selection sort using string in Java. So this was a live demonstration and implementation of selection sort. Important facts, repetition or iteration of selection sort, the minimum element from the unsorted subarray is picked and moved to the sorted subarray. That's what we have seen. With, we have to repeat the iteration until the minimum element is reached to its proper position. Complexity of selection sort algorithm is same for best and the worst cases. So this is what basically called a stability of a sorting algorithm. A sorting algorithm is said to be stable if two objects with equal or same keys appear in the same order in sorted output as they appear in the input array to be sorted. So for example, we have an array which is an unsorted. But when we try to sort it with the help of a particular sorting algorithm and there are two occurrences of comparison which are actually at the same position so or correct position that means that swapping is reduced so in that case it is stable so to make the sorting algorithm in a stable you can pick the elements you can choose the element to compare is in a right position to avoid having the swapping situation that's called the stability string is basically an object that represents sequence of character values or you can call it as an array of characters and string is a class in java lang package which is by default imported in your application every time thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting videos for more assistance and source code if you need it you can contact us and techranch2019 at gmail.com and please provide your precious feedback and suggestions please post it on comment section let's make coding fun thank you